What's up guys? So I have not done a daily makeup tutorial in a really, really long time. A lot has changed since then. New makeup trends have come in. I figured I would give you guys a little update on what I'm doing. I'm literally getting ready to go get some brunch with my sister and her boyfriend and my mom and my friend Gigi. I just recently started using this foundation stick. It's from Benefit. I used to really not like foundation sticks until I tried this one. I noticed that like it blends out super, super nicely. How I do it is I just kind of draw lines on like my cheeks maybe like three and i like to go down my neck a little bit just so it blends chin lip on my nose on my forehead we got a little pimp coming up but that's okay i stopped using beauty blenders too which is super weird because i used to freaking live by those things but i find that it's a lot easier to use like a thick brush like this to blend out my foundation I'm gonna use this little mirror over here i just kind of tap and rub it in make sure to blend on the neck because that's important get between them nostrils take this and just kind of blend over the eyelids i know that this doesn't look the most professional but it works so that's what matters bam Foundation complete. Me. Oh, you look pretty. I'm filming my YouTube video. Do you want to come in and say hi? Hey guys. Hey, what's Justin up, guys? Bieber. I'm Haley. And um, today we're. You're doing... actually giving me Haley vibes right now. Yeah? You're giving me Justin Bieber vibes right now. Next, we got concealer. This is the Creaseless Concealer by Tarte. I'm using it in the shade medium because I don't really like my concealer to be a lot lighter than my face. I just like it to get rid of the dark circles. We're gonna kind of do some little taps like that. And then if I have any like little pimps wanted to come through, I kind of do it like that. And then I'll do some on my forehead, tip of my nose, and then I do my chin and the top of my lip. And maybe here if it looks like my mustache is growing back in. <laughs> I take a littler brush. This is what I use to like contour my nose. So it works for two things, which is very minimalistic and cute. Anyways, moving on. I'm gonna blend it in. Say hi. No. This is Isabella. My makeup's already done. Yeah, she's looking sexy. She's looking beautiful. So yeah, I just kind of tap and rub that in. Light taps on the pimps because we don't want the pimps to come through. So we don't really rub it around too much. All right, now for the best part. Ooh, bye. I was using the Tarte Shape Tape for a while, and then I went to an event that they had, and they released this one, and I was like, wow. It covers so well. And from what I have, like, left over on my brush after doing my eyes, I'll kind of go on my eyelids a little bit because I have very veiny eyelids. Now, now we're going to set it with some powder. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. It's a translucent powder. So then I take another one of these brushes. I don't like to use a ton of powder, so I kind of just go wherever I concealed, under my eyes, on my eyelids. And maybe a little bit on my forehead right there and a little on my chin and my lip i usually use the Too faced bronzer but i'm currently out of it i just ran out so i've been using the bronzer that is in this bh cosmetics run wild palette it has like a bunch of cute stuff it has like blushes and it also has some highlighters and look at all those fun colors i have yet to experiment with those yet but i really really want to all right so now we're gonna contour. I learned a little trick. So instead of going right here where your contour usually is, if you go a little bit above that, it makes the illusion of your cheekbones being higher. And I blend it up like around my temples. <laughs> Face up! Face up. A little bit on my jawline. And then we're gonna take the other side and we're going to contour Zynos. I'm gonna put some underneath at the bottom right here. And then we're gonna go to the side. I just added way too much on that one side. So we're gonna blend that out. Ooh, snatched. And now I like to take a little bit like on the edge of my brush and kind of 
go across like that. And then I put a little bit of bronzer under my lower lip because it makes your lips look poutier or curved. I don't really know if it does anything, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something. So I do it. Blush, my favorite part. I use this like kind of dark rose color because I just like the way that it looks like an actual natural sunburn, but I kind of mix it with like this one right here. This is also the Glowing in Grease palette by BH Cosmetics. These colors are amazing. And I also use this highlighter, which you guys will see is just, just buttery and beautiful. So I literally only use one tap because it's really pigmented. I kind of just go in and I like to kind of put my blush a little higher up because I naturally get sunburnt like right underneath my eyes. And then I also put a little bit on my nose. This is the Morphe M501 brush. Now I'm gonna take this highlighter right here. So blinding, blend it out. I love to look super just like dewy and glowy. So I'll add some up here, a little bit on my forehead. Now we're gonna highlight the nose. I love a good blinding nose highlight. And then I do a little bit on my Cupid's bow as well. And maybe a little on my chin. I don't really fill in my eyebrows because my eyebrows are already pretty thick and I honestly really, really need to get them done. So I use this Benefit Give Me Brow. It's a tinted brow gel. I use it in the shade three, which is kind of like a dark brown. It's really good to use eyebrow gels as well too because with all the powder we just put on our face and all that stuff, we don't want our eyebrows to look like they are powdery. So you guys, look how long my freaking eyebrows are. It's so crazy. So I basically start with just really, really brushing them up and making sure that there's no powder in them or anything. And it helps fill in if there's any thinner eyebrow areas. I try not to do it too much because then they end up looking kind of crazy. And then I just kind of brush them down like that at the top. This is actually a little hack I learned from Miss Charlotte Tilbury when I was on Making a Model. We went in and we did our makeup with her and she was like, yeah, brush your eyebrows up and just kind of sloop them down a little bit. She's like, that's how you get the model look. And I was like, oh. Hey. So for eyes, that's Steven. It's my sister's boyfriend. I, I have a confession. I am on self tanner. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely can't tell. Can't it's tell. noticeable. No, it's not. <laughs> It is what it is. Guys, look how beautiful this palette is. It's from ColourPop. I just opened this package. They were so sweet and they sent it to me. This is my my rock of palettes. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. All these colors, as you can see, I've worn out a few of them. Whenever I do shimmer shades, I don't usually use a brush. I find it a lot easier to just use my finger. I'm gonna go in with this gold shimmer color right here and just go with my finger and Put it on my lid like that. It's very, very vibrant. Now I'm gonna go into the Amrezy palette and where's my brush? So this comes with a little brush. It's usually always in there, but yeah. I'm gonna take this color OG, just kind of like a sun-kissed, like bronzy orange color and use that as my transition shade. So I just kind of lightly put that in my crease and really, really like to just blend it out. Now that we have that all nice and blended out, I also kind of like to blend it outwards a little bit. I really, really blend it out, like up to the eyebrows type blending. I don't like it to be like really harsh. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the New Yorker color right here and just add a little bit on the outer corny, cor corny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the outer cornea. <laughs> Oh, okay. So then I'm gonna take yeah, that first probably. transition color and I'm gonna blend it out on my lower lash line as well. And that's kind of all I do for eyeshadow, if I'm being honest, on just like a day to day. Maybe sometimes I'll do a little bit extra, but that's just kind of my go-to. Ooh, actually, I do kind of want to go extra because this palette. They have this really, really freaking pretty shimmer shade. Guys, look at that. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna kind of tap that on my eyelids. This will give us a little extra pizzazz. Wow. And then I already curled my eyelashes, but usually now I would curl my eyelashes 
Always curl your eyelashes before you do your eyeliner because if you curl your eyelashes, your eyeliner is on and it's going to look splotchy. Next for eyeliner, I'm using this Luna Liner by Seraphine Botanicals. I usually like to start with just a little line like that and just connect it. that and then I just fill it in and I just make sure that it's nice and even sometimes I'll stop towards the middle but I think today I'm just gonna take it all the way in all right now we have to try and match this side to this side so wish me luck so I think that that's even enough. For mascara, I use the Benefit They're Real Mascara. This is my favorite. After mascara, I do usually like to add falsies. Sometimes I'll just do eyeshadow and mascara, but we're doing a little bit more extra today. Are you going live? I'm filming a YouTube video. That's Katie. Hello. I'm doing an everyday makeup. makeup. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. So now I'm going to be doing my eyelashes. These are from Glamnetics. They're actually magnetic eyelashes. They're super easy to like take off and put on. And basically you apply them with magnetic eyeliner. So you basically just kind of put it as close as you can to your lash line. So I basically let that dry for about 30 seconds. Guys, look how pretty these are. These are called Baby Girl. All right. The moment has come to put on the eyelashes. Whoa, those look fire. Yes, sir. Sometimes I do put on long mascara, but I don't think today is gonna be one of those days. Your lower eyelashes are already long. Look at my tooth. So that one like We're cool. I know. For lip liner, I use the Palladio Nearly Nude Lip Liner. Lamont, how do you do? Lamont, do you want to say hi to my YouTube video? Oh, yes. <laughs> is it recording now? Yeah. So I just got some pop eyes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this Ellen Tracy lip line or liquid lipstick. And real quickly, because I think I forgot, I'm gonna take just a little baby brush and I'm gonna go in with my highlighter and just kind of highlight my brow bone a little bit. And then on my inner corner as well. So this is the everyday makeup look. Let me know if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials. Comment down below what you guys would like me to do. As you know, we're continuing with the weekly Monday, Majestic Mondays videos. So make sure that you guys subscribe so you guys get notified whenever I post a new YouTube video and turn on my post notifications. If you guys like this video or recreate this look, let me know. And like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Why not? Just do it. Well, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. Stay majestic.